Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the pros and the cons of owning a turtle. If you are new to my channel, hello, I am Diana and I own a turtle. My turtle is a yellow belly slider hybrid and she is about a year old. So all of my information today is just based off my own personal experience owning a turtle. Now, I don't know about most turtles, but my turtle actually recognizes my voice and my face. So if I call her name or I tell her to come here, she'll come to wherever I am. And if I walk past her tank, she'll actually follow me in whatever direction I am going, which I think is really cute. My second pro is that they are playful. So I like to play with my turtle. I'll do this on her glass tank. So she'll actually chase after my finger, which I think is great. It gives them mental stimulation and it also keeps them active. My third pro is that turtles live a long life. They can live up to 40 years in captivity. So if you're looking for a long-term commitment animal, then I think a turtle is perfect. My fourth pro is that turtles are also very unique. They have shells and they are mostly aquatic and I think they make a perfect pet to anyone who likes to keep reptiles. And now I'm going to be talking about the cons of owning a turtle. My first con is that turtles are messy. So if you feed your turtle in its tank, then you probably know that they are really messy eaters and that they poop a lot. So what I recommend is you get a bin and you fill it up with water and you put them in there to eat. And once they're done eating, you put them back in their tank. My second con is that turtles are really expensive. And this goes for really any reptile. Reptiles are really expensive animals. Now for your turtle, you're gonna have to buy out a tank. And tanks can be pretty expensive depending on the size and how much water they hold. And for a turtle, minimum requirement is a 75 gallon tank. And not only will you need a tank, but you will need other things. And I made a list, so if I'm looking down, that's why. So you're gonna need a heater, a good quality filter, lights, so UVB and a heat lamp. You're gonna need a thermometer, water conditioner, a basking area, and any food that you're gonna feed your turtle. On top of that, if your turtle gets sick, you'll have to bring it to a vet, and vet bills for reptiles are very expensive, so just keep that in mind. Now, my third con I also listed as a pro, and that is their long lifespan. I also listed it as a con only because some people, they don't want a long-term commitment. They don't really want to take care of something for pretty much the rest of their life. So if you are looking for something that's not really a long-term commitment, then I don't think that a turtle is the best fit for you. The last con is that turtles are very high maintenance. Most people don't know that. They think they're easy, so they go out and get one, take them home, and realize that they are a lot of work. So most of the times, turtles get mistreated, they get brought to rescues, or worst case scenario, they get released into the wild. So thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to me, and I hope to see you next time. Hi, Charlotte. You basking? You look so majestic right now.